Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So we know why you're here to see how I customized this wig and got this look. So if you're interested in seeing it from start to finish, definitely stay tuned. So I picked up this wig from SVT Hair Company and along with the wig, I received a lot of goodies like lashes, a wig cap and an elastic band. The wig itself is a four x four closure wig and this is their Indian Deep Wave wig i got the length 24 inches i'm just going to show you guys how the wig looks it's your standard factory cap with the combs and the adjustable straps and the hair itself was just pure pure loveliness and as you guys can see it is brown lace so i did bleach the knots and i attached the elastic band that came with the wig onto the wig using my sewing machine what I'm pretty much going to show you guys here is how I like to pluck and customize the hairline so that is more natural. The hair is freshly co-washed and as you guys can see the curls just pop and come to life. So first I'm going to go in with a wax stick like so. You can use any wax stick of your choice. This is just my preference. And I'm going to use the hot comb just to kind of tame the hairs into place and kind of get it flowing in the way that I want it to flow or go. So that's what I'm pretty much doing here. And so that thick hairline that you guys see there, I'm going to do my best to get rid of it. And so that's why we pretty much do customization. So after I tame the flyaways and I tame the hair and I get it going in the direction I want it to go, I'm going to use my tweezers. The tweezers that I'll be using actually comes from my company and they're the multi-purpose tweezers. You're gonna see them in the next shot here. So they actually come from my company and it comes with a comb and sharp steel blades, not blades, but ends on the tweezers so they never dull. So I'm going to start actually tweezing from the very front of that closure to kind of create a hairline to follow. So as you guys can see, I'm just pulling some of that hair from the very front of the closure, trying not to pull too much because, listen, once you pull, that hair is not going to grow back or anything like that. Of course, you could ventilate hair strands back into where you pluck, but who wants to do that? So be very mindful and very careful with this part. So yeah, I'm using my comb to just get rid of all of that hair that I just plucked and you guys can kind of start to see the hairline is starting to form. So I went ahead and I continued to pluck a little bit more and I used the hot comb to create my middle part. You guys know I'm a center part girl. And as you guys can see, that hairline looks a lot better than before. So all you really gotta do is just be mindful of the tweezing and the plucking and you'll be pretty much good. I did actually go back in. <laughs> I went back in, I'm such a perfectionist. I went back in and I plucked some more hair off of the closure and I added just two swoops, little baby hairs on the side like so. One thing I like to do before I ever install any of my wigs is I like to style them on the mannequin head and see how it looks on the mannequin head before I see or install it on myself. So that's what you guys got here. Here I am with my makeup on. <laughs> Face looking real bad. <laughs> but here is the wig and I haven't touched it since I customized it. So it, this is literally off the mannequin head. And yeah, the wig is ready to go. It's already styled, plucked, customized. All I have to do is just cut the lace off and wear it out on the town. I did experience some shedding with the hair, but that is to be expected with curly or patterns or um, curly patterns, deep wave patterns, water wave, any pattern. I'm typically expecting some shedding, so that was to be expected. Nothing too crazy, nothing excessive. The wig itself is just so pretty. The Indian Origin is probably one of my favorites because it's very fine and very easy to manage, so definitely check the description box for the link to this wig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.